supersonic train travel might be moving a step closer. An American firm has announced it will test a prototype Hyperloop system in Nevada desert early next year. The technology uses magnetic levitation, but the idea has been around for more than a century. CCTV's Guy Henderson reports from Berlin. The race is on to make supersonic train travel reality. An American firm Hyperloop One now believe they have the edge. We are currently putting all the parts of Hyperloop together. The tube, the pod, the pressure reduction system, the passive maglev and the linear motor to accelerate it. We will integrate all of those systems and have proof of technology at our test site in the Nevada desert in the first quarter of 2017. A pipe dream until 2013, when billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk unveiled a plan to make it happen. It may not look like it, but delegates at this biennial maglev meeting in Berlin are pretty excited. The maglev stalls at one of the world's largest train fairs are no longer in the wings. The first attempts at magnetically levitated train travel were made in the 1870s and yet more than a lifetime later the technology still hasn't fully caught on but there's plenty of optimism this year particularly that it may finally be getting there albeit at a slightly slower rate in many cases than the speed of sound there are currently three operational worldwide Shanghai's is the fastest at 431 kilometers per hour High construction costs, say critics, offsets savings in maintenance. But industry experts say vested interests are the real obstacle. If you are a producer of high-speed trains, conventional high-speed trains, you make money by the maintenance, by the wheels, you know, by the wear off that is existing and you need to compensate that. That is huge business. A maglev system doesn't have wheels. So all these companies are afraid to, use, to lose their business. A train without wheels, a plane without wings. Potentially a transport category all on its own. Guy Henderson, CCTV, Berlin.